to author P.H. Pearl of the Orient City Travel Guide. Explore more than 7,000 wonderful paradise island. Experience and immerse to the Moroccan culture of Yaa. Marinduk is an island province in the Philippines located in southwestern Tagalog region or Mimaropa, formerly designated as Region 4B. Its capital is the municipality of Boke. Marinduk lies between Tabas Bay to the north and Sibayan Sea to the south. It is west of the Bondoc Peninsula of Quezon Province, east of Mindoro Island, and north of the island province of Romlin. Some parts of the Verde Island Passage, the center of the center of world's marine biodiversity and the protected marine area, are also within Marinduk's provincial waters. The province's economy relies heavily on agriculture, particularly coconuts and rice, but the tourism industry is poised to contribute more as the opening of Marinduk Airport is expected to pave way to a lot of opportunities for businesses to flourish. It is already known for its Morion's festival held annually during the Holy Week, but it has so much more to offer, from its numerous cave systems to vibrant dive sites to stunning beaches. Please subscribe in our YouTube channel and follow and like us on Facebook hashtag OferPH, and visit our website at www.oferph.com for more travel guide and tip. The island province of Marinduk lies between Tabas Bay, north, and Sibayan Sea, south. It is located north of Romlin, east of Mindoro, separated by the Tavla Strait, and west of Quezon, separated by the Mongpong Pass. Marinduk comprises six municipalities, Bogue, the provincial capital, Mogpog, Gasin, Buena Vista, Torrios, and Santa Cruz. Other than these towns, it also has offshore islands that include Tur's Res Islands, Melcher, Gaspar, Baltazar, Elephant Island, Bellaroca, Maniwaya Island, Mongpong Island, and Polo Island. Marinduk is an island province in the Philippines best known for celebrating the Morions Festival, one of the oldest religious festivals in the country held during Holy Week, everywhere you go in the province. You can spot references to the icons of the Morions, men and women in costumes and masks wearing garb of biblical Roman soldiers. How to get there in Marinduk Catch a direct bus from Kudbaro or Bundia going to Marinduk. Jam liner and jack liner serve this route. The bus travels to Dalahican port, board the Roro ferry to Balanakan port of Mokpog and circumnavigate the circumferential road of the province. If you're taking this route, ask to be dropped off at by but crossing in Santa Cruz. Total travel time from Manila is around 7 hours and fare is approximately 880 pesos one way. At by but crossing, transfer to a tricycle to take you to buy a bot port for 10 pesos per passenger. Another option is to take a bus to Dalahican port, Jack Liner, Jam Transit, Lucena Liner and Ceres Transport have buses bound to Dalahican port leaving almost every hour daily for approximately 3 hours of travel, fare is as low as 210 pesos. From Dalahican port, transfer to a Montenegro or Star Horse Roro going to Balanakan port, there are numerous departures daily. Regular fare is 260 pesos one way and travel time is approximately 3 hours. Upon arrival in Belanakan port, transfer to a jeepney to Santa Cruz and then to a tricycle going to buy a bot port, where to stay in Marinduk. As the capital of Marinduk, Bok is the center of commerce. It harbors most of the government offices and commercial establishments such as restaurants, shops, banks, market, and accommodations. It is also the only town that shares borders with all the other five municipalities. Therefore, Book is the preferred jump-off point to all other tourist attractions in Marinduk. There are resorts in the island offering different types of accommodations, from tent to cottages to private fan and air-conditioned rooms, 
The most prominent is Wai's Beach Resort with private rooms starting at 1,200 pesos per night good for three. You may also opt to stay in their open-air cabana at 1,000 pesos good for four to six or in the tent at 500 pesos per night good for two. You may also bring your own tent and you get to pay only 300 pesos per night or your hammock at 150 pesos per night. Entrance fee is 50 pesos per person, the main mode of transportation when traveling from town to town. The minimum fare is 10 pesos per person and the maximum is 25 pesos. If you have no idea how much is the fare to your destination, the jeepney terminals display the fare matrix. The last trip is around 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. Things to see and do in Marinda First activity, experience Morion's Festival, one of the country's oldest festivals. Morions, locally known as Morionin, has become synonymous to the province of Morindag. Held annually during the Holy Week, Morions is widely celebrated by both locals and tourists. Local participants dressed in Roman soldier uniform march down the main road connecting the towns of Gathin, Bog, Mogpog, and Santa Cruz. Usually, the two largest towns Bog and Santa Cruz present the reenactment of the moment when an unnamed Roman soldier a blind Morian, struck Jesus in his side with a lance while crucified on the cross and was able to see after the blood droplets from the wound touched his eyes. If every province has an official mascot, the Morian is a no-brainer choice for marine duck. Second activity, visit the Toy Beach. Surrounded by bodies of water, the island province offers pristine beaches that can be enjoyed all year round. The beaches of Marine Dug are not too crowded. Victoria Beach in Torrios is the most prominent beach in Marine Dug. It has fine cream-colored sand and clear cerulean waters. M.T. Malanik is visible from the beach, so you can revel in its beauty while swimming or just chilling on the beach. This is where the locals usually hang out, so food and cottages are not a problem. A few resorts are also being constructed in and around the area. Third activity, visitors race island hopping, Gaspar, Melcher, and Baltazar, collectively known as the Tours Reyes Islands, are the popular island hopping destinations in Marindag, from the Gassin. Freedom Park, these islands are already visible, there are locals residing on the biggest island, Gaspar. Island hopping rates are 1,000 pesos to 1,500 pesos for all three islands and 500 pesos to 600 pesos for Gaspar Island only. Fourth activity, visit Mount Malinding, located on the southernmost portion of the province and towering at 1,157 meters above sea level. Mount Malanik is the highest peak in Marinda. It is a favorite hiking destination, boasting a rich endemic flora and fauna. It is said to be a potentially active stratovolcano, which makes it more interesting. It has three peaks the central, location of the old caldera, the south, the Rockies, and the north, the highest, from the main road covering the towns of Buena Vista and Torrios, the mountain proudly announces its presence as it dominates the landscape. Fifth activity, visit Malbox Sulphur Resort, springing from the mighty Mount Malanik is another crowd magnet, the natural sulphur baths in Barangay Malbog, Buena Vista. Malbog Sulphur Resort is located at the foot of the mountain. Locals and foreign patrons frequent the place for its healing properties, especially those with skin problems and diseases as it is said to effectively cure them. 45 pesos is the entrance fee for adults and 30 pesos for kids, PWDs, and senior citizens. If you have any comments or suggestion feel free to comment below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe in our YouTube channel and follow and like us on Facebook hashtag go for ph For more travel guide and tips visit our site at www.oferph.com. Do not forget to click the notification bell.